This is a short guide that's going to take you through the steps to set up your Zotero library. First off, we're going to go to Zotero.org and we're going to install the Zotero standalone. Then we'll install our browser plugin. Really important step um, is that you're going to register for an online Zotero account. By doing that, we can link the uh, Zotero account on your PC to your online account. And that means that everything is backed up and you'll be able to access your work from any PC. Okay, so as I say, the first thing you do is you go to Zotero.org. I'm going to go to download now. I'm looking at this in um, Chrome and it recognizes that I'm looking in Chrome. If you're using Firefox or Safari, you would recognize that, okay? First thing is, is I want to download Zotero 5.0 for my Windows. There. So we just let that extract there now. Just say next and install. Okay, there's nothing extra that's going to try and tack itself on. So it's fairly safe just to go ahead there, all right? So that's it. That's fairly quick. Here I have my library. What I'm going to do straight away though is, is I want to install the connector because this is how I get material into my library. This is a plugin for the browser. Again, it's fairly simple. We just add that extension there. Just say yes. Okay, so if you see here, if I hover over here, saved as a tier. So that's, it. That my, that's, that's my plugin now in my browser installed. As I say, it's really important, though, if you are going to use Zotero, that you register with an online account so that we make sure that everything we do is backed up and saved online. Choose a very simple name, okay? You want something you'll remember easily. Put in your email. Confirm it. Now, I've already got an account here, so it's recognizing it there. So you'll choose a password at this point. You need to verify you're not a robot. Register, okay? So you'll go to your own email and there'll be an activation email there. If you can't see it immediately, maybe just check in your spam folder there. But it'll just be a question of uh, clicking a link and activating it. And once you've done that, you're good to go. The next stage is that you need to sync it to your Zotero that's on your computer. So if I just click on that there, I'm going to go up to Edit, Preferences, Sync. If you can't remember your new, your username, don't worry about it, because actually your email will work just as well. And often you might forget that if you're constantly uh, linking to numerous computers, so that'll always work for you. So that's synced to my online account. I'm just going to say, okay, leave these automatic full text search. You can just leave them. So I'm going to click on this here. I'm going to sync it. And here we go. It's finding everything that I had in my account. So that you can do these in the college computers is very simple to do. It only takes you a couple of moments. So if you don't have your laptop in, you can download Zotero very quickly and you can link it to, to your online account and work away there straight away and get moving.